Hi, Soul Family. I am literally going to do a reading for us while I'm in the bathtub. I know you don't have anything real exciting to look at, but I have been so freaking busy, just beyond slammed, and it's like every single day it just goes another day, another day, another day, and there's nothing I hate more than being ignored, right? So I feel, I feel bad. I can't turn the camera because I'm naked. So, here, what I'll do is I'll bring candles out here. Maybe you can see some candles. Um, this candle needs to be cleaned. Okay, I can't really see that. That's, this is from like last Christmas. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. How does it go? Blah, 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 and you gave it away. Wow, that sucks. I know how that feels. <laughs> All right, so items to choose from. This candle. Now, what else, what reasons would you choose this? The color? It looks like teal to me. Looks like... Hmm. It's not... Well, it could be turquoise, right? It's deep. I probably... I think it's teal, though. So, malachite, um, it could be that you're choosing it because of the sunflower, the sunburst. Um, it could be the gold, worthy, right? It could be that you just like candles. I don't know. Why are you choosing this? I can actually see faces in this. So let me just turn it around again. So, there's this. Item number one. You know what? Let's do groups. Let's do groups, okay? Three groups. Group one is the is the um. I've got okay. I've got amethyst on my mind, so the, this candle is going to be my first choice because this is an amethyst color candle. Okay, so this is group two, and as I said, that the camera is recording at two twenty. It was at two twenty seven. So two two and seven makes sense to me. 22, everything's happening the way it's supposed to happen with divine blessings for everyone involved. Let go and have faith. And seven, you're on the right path and it will exceed your expectations. Check out my elbow. I've got paint on it. I've been a complete, complete construction girl. My face, oh, we had, we had hurricane winds here. No kidding. Never in my life have I experienced wind like that, ever. And I was up till three in the morning for the last three nights in a row. And I look like death. So... Excuse my reach here, not getting a look at my face. Third group, mane and tail. This is funny. This is what I use for my dog for conditioner. Um, they, and I was a horsey girl. But here, I choose this one too. So this is my second item, and then the third item will be the first candle. Isn't that interesting? A pair of horses. Horses represent forward movement. Coming at you like a black horse. There's always the black horse and the cherry tree song too, right? There was a black horse in a cherry tree and the person was saying, I'm going to marry you. And the other one's like, hell no. So they took off. <laughs> somebody might have been chasing somebody. I am not ever chasing anybody again. So this may be my own shadow, your own shadow. Maybe you're running from your own shadow or maybe someone's coming after you because you said, fuck that shit. I'm out. Um, main, main one. I want to be the main one, right? Want some tail? Tail? No, if it's about tail, that's it. It's not all about tail. It's about maybe somebody needed to be conditioned. Um, moisturizing, texturizing. So moisturizing would be, you know, and conditioning would be care. It would be, um, it takes time, right? It, it's, it's like finesse. So it's, it's extra care, extra care. Somebody may need grooming, extra care. Grooming to me is deeper than... Um, like if you to go, you go get a haircut. That's one thing. But if you have somebody groom you, somebody can groom you as far as uh, a, a project, a job, follow in their footsteps. But if somebody says, "I need grooming. I need deep care. Deep. I want something deep. Deep conditioner. Right? This is this is this makes horses' tails soft. So this might have been a hard case. 
This should have been one I picked up as number one, but I don't. So number two. Could just be that you're picking two. Two running together. You're moving in the same direction, right? Okay, so those are your three items to choose from. The decks that we're working with are 333, The Naked Truth, my deck, and then The Enchanted Map. So we'll start with The Enchanted Map, and I'm asking Spirit. I, I'm going to shuffle. I like this because I'm going to tell them. I'm going to shuffle three times. And on the third time, you better have had the cards shuffled where you want them to be because this is a reverse deck. And whatever comes out, if it comes out upwards or downwards, that's what we're getting. All right. So now, whatever card Spirit pulls, we get. For group number one, for those who chose the Malachite candle or the gold filigree candle, or the Christmas candle. It might be something to do with Christmas time, right? Um, what does it smell like? Well, it smells like burnt nostril hairs because I just totally took a sniff and it went right up my nose. I don't really have many nostril hairs and now I don't have any. It smells like... It smells good. I don't know what it smells like. Hmm, I don't know. It does smell good. Candles are relaxing. I've got a ton of Epsom salts in my bath because my feet are just aching. That one? Okay, that was pretty freaking clear. So for those who chose number one, and that's my second. No, it's my third card, right? It's my third message. I take all the messages. Details, details, details. Hmm, why is that doing that? Okay, details, details, details. So somebody's looking into the fine, or maybe you need to look into the fine details of this situation. You know what? Before we start, ooh, the number is 43. 43 might be an age. It might be significant for you. The number four, you have angels all around you, completely guiding, protecting, and loving you. There's no reason for fear. And then three, you also have ascended masters working with you, probably ones you're most familiar with, such as mom, grandma, sister. That's mine. That's my team, right? Also, Metatron and Master Jesus, definitely Ascended Masters. And then, four and three together, again, we get number seven. You're on the right path, and it will exceed your expectations. So let's, let's find out from my deck, 333, The Naked Truth, what are the details in regards to? So somebody's <clears throat> up at night, late, because there's a, is this a candle? <laughs> I can't really see it. Hold on. No, it's a magnifying glass. They're freaking... So are you... Maybe you're meant to look at the fine details or maybe you're looking too closely. Like sometimes it's like, okay, you know, you've done enough overanalyzing. You're looking at it with a fine tooth freaking comb. Nothing's perfect. Or maybe you don't trust it. So you're looking, is there anything there that isn't going to go well or isn't right for me? There's books everywhere, all over the place. I wish the computer light hadn't turned out. And I can't jump up and turn the, the lights on. So let me hold it over here and see what else I see in here. There's magic. And I mean spiritual magic from, from the highest love and light. Oh, let's ask for a blessing on this, shall we? That no one is allowed in this arena except for those of the highest order of love and light. We ask for angelic assistance and guidance upon this reading. We ask that my eye sees what it needs to see, my spiritual eye, my third eye, as well as if there's something here I need to see specifically, that I pick up on what spirit's trying to drop down into my highest self. One good thing about being tired is my higher self just takes over, so it's good. Um, and that you understand what I'm saying, that I can make it be, um, wow, interesting. I just heard that I can make it be palatable. I don't wanna make it be palatable. So maybe that's an issue, right? Worrying about it being palatable. I want it to be honest and truthful, and I would rather be slapped with the truth than hugged with a lie. So I don't want to make it palatable. Maybe you do. Maybe you're trying to figure out how to make it, how can I say this? How can I do this? How can I make it come across palatable? Uh, I don't know. I don't like that. So there's something else. The magnifying glass is looking down at this gold coin. Money is magnified. Focusing on money. Money is not the most important thing, but you may think it is. Somebody may be very materialistic. 
Hmm. Perhaps a neutrality. Magnified. It could also be... So the magnifying glass is highlighted on the golden coin. So your money may be magnifying, right? You're on the right path. It's going to exceed your expectations. Angels are working with you. You've got the reason for fear. It's time to make time for your partner or family. Overwork. There you go. Fuck the gold coin. You're focused on that gold coin. And spirit says it's time to make time for the ones that you love and your family over the gold coin. Because spirit makes the money come. My phone rings when spirit wants it to ring. When I'm meant to take a break, it stops ringing, and I respect that. I don't worry about money. When I need it, they know. Hey, all right, let's do this. Okay, I'm going to do that. But when I come back in, I'm going to need this by the end of the day. So, And then it, and it comes. I, I work with my team. So you need to work with your team. And there's nobody there, right? You're focused on the coin. One more message. Correct me down in all of it. Glad I took. See, that's not my card. That's why I was my last message. So it could be this is a message for you or someone close to you, right? It's clearly not my message because I'm not focused on the coin. I don't really worry about it. I know that it comes. You make the move, whoever it is that's focused on the coin. It's time for you to make the move. It's time for you to make time for your partner and your family. And you make the move. Get Stop focusing so much on the money. Stop worrying so much about the money. That's, I don't have to read what Colette Baron reed has to say about this message because my, my deck is the one that clarifies it, right? These cards clarify it. So, the coin is being focused on. It's, they're not focusing on the fine print. They're focusing on the gold coin. So, in another situation, it could be that there are documents or contracts and you need to check it out if, if i had gotten a message well let's ask for one more if i've gotten a message that said don't trust somebody or hey it's not what it seems then we would know that you need to pay attention to the fine print like my daughter's looking she's all inspired by what i'm doing with my little uh, sexy beast and and that's why i've been gone so long you guys i'm so sorry i'm working so hard because there's somebody coming to stay here for a week and it needs to be done so now she's got a fire in her ass she wants to do it she's super stoked and there's some things that are a little bit fishy. So I, she's got to pay attention to the fine print, right? Like, where's the title? You know, can it, he hasn't got it registered. Uh, how long has it not been registered? Because you got to pay for that, right? Yes, they cheated. And yes, they're sorry. Well, doesn't that just fucking suck? But they're sorry. They're truly sorry. So the details, what are the details? The details are they cheated. They cheated. So could this be that they cheated you out of something at work? They cheated you out of something at money? I'm seeing a face of a woman in this gold coin. A woman cheated you out of money. They're sorry they did it, but they did. They took you for your money. They wanted you for your money. Wow. That's for somebody. They're sorry they did it. Now, it could just be completely somebody cheated on you and they're sorry. And I don't know. Cheating can be done in a lot of ways. I cheated you out of my time. I focus more on the coin than on you. So this one who did that, they need to make the move and make time for their family and for their partner. Hmm. Your partner could have cheated on you. A female partner cheated on you. Correct for neutralities. If, if you need a confirmation, that will have been it. All right. I'm anxious to see what my message is. <laughs> Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose the amethyst candle, this amethyst candle is in a blue a blue glass. You can't see it, but the glass, when the light is out of the candle, this is a blue glass. It's actually really cool. So right now, there looks to be a lot of love and passion in there, but there's darkness at the bottom. It's lit on top. So there's passion burning and something that might have felt like it had gone cold, right? It's been, maybe it was cold and now the passion has been reignited. Look at the ice on this, right? Burning away. I'm trying to warm to the touch. So something that was very cold is coming to light and is very warm. Amethyst is for protection. It's for sleep. It's for calming. I told you guys I used to always keep something that, re that, that represented my spiritual twin in my amethyst geode. It kept him protected and safe and calm. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality for those who chose... Oh, no. we got to shuffle again. 
Two shuffles, Spirit. Two shuffles. Oops. Wow. So somebody's butting heads, either with themselves or with each other. But it, it, they didn't want to. They didn't want to shuffle. I don't want to shuffle. Okay. So somebody may be saying, "I don't want to juggle anymore. I don't want to shuffle. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't want to do this." Oh, that was it. Two shuffles, right? Two shuffles, Spirit. All right. Pull the card for me, please. For those who chose the amethyst candle, the amethyst crystal candle in the blue. Gloves. Card for neutrality and all of this. For those who chose the amethyst candle. For those of you who think that it's inappropriate that I'm doing a reading in the bathtub, go to another channel. If I did not take the time, it's that one. If I did not take the time to do this like this, I, you guys wouldn't get a reading for God knows how long because it's just been freaking forever. So this is called coming apart, but it was in reverse. So something maybe had come up, has come apart. The number again, four and six, four. There are angels all around you, completely guiding, protecting, and loving you. There is no reason for fear. There's a woman at the top crying, and there's a guy down there, so she's on his mind. The coming apart is on his mind. Yeah, I bet. The candle, amethyst, and blue. Something that was cold coming back to life, or maybe the, maybe the, maybe the flame never stopped burning. No matter how it appeared, it appeared icy cold, but the flame was always there. So four, angels all around you, completely guiding, protecting, and loving you. There's no reason for fear. The number six <laughs> that goes along with the first card talks about materialism. It also talks about victory. But in angelic terms, it means please stop focusing so much on this material world and focus your thoughts more to spirit. A lot of the times the message is, you know, explore your options. And that means what? Go out there and find what else is there? No, explore how spirit can fix this. How many different ways could this turn into something fantastic? Maybe this is what's doing it, right? No, it is, but it's bugging me. So this woman's on his mind. She's been crying, but it's in the reverse. So something's unraveling, and what you're planning on doing is leading you astray. So... Neutrality on all levels. Stop. They said stop and get the cards. Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose the amethyst candle, will you marry me? Wow. That's why they told me to stop. Because I'm supposed to just intuitively read this by the picture. So if it was coming apart, if we got it like that, something was coming apart. But if it's in the reverse, what has come apart is coming back together or wants to come back together. And somebody is asking, will you marry me? Wow. Crash neutrality. Crash neutrality on all levels. For those who chose the amethyst candle. You still have a chance. Be open and honestly express yourself. Okay, something came apart. It was very traumatic, very upsetting. It, it, what, how, how it went down is on this one's mind, and this one's been very hurt. And this one was innocent. Look at the white. This is purity, innocence. So they want to marry this person, but it's come apart. And they still have a chance, Spirit says, if they can open up and be honest and honestly express themselves, right? What did I say? I'd rather be slapped with the truth than hugged with the lie. Nothing I hate worse than untruthfulness and games. And if you need something to say to me, you need to freaking say it. Don't be afraid. I had a client just call me before I started the reading, and the message was... Um, he loves this person and he asked her out, but she told his boss and said to his boss that 
It made her uncomfortable. I, he didn't tell me that at first, though. And, I, and what I kept getting was, go after her. You know what you want. What's the worst that can happen? He goes, I'm scared to. Why? Well, what I said, are you afraid? Of, what if she said no? What's the, what, what's the worst she's going to do? Shoot you? Take control of your life. This person's message was that they, had, they were sick and tired of being told to do something or being made to act a certain way or behave a certain way. They were, it was making them sick. They were stifled, bored, stuck. They were ready to explode. And then the next message said, honestly, express yourself. Be your own true self, even if you have to just blurt out what you need to say. But then he says, I'm afraid to do it again. And I said, why? In case she says no. And he says, well, no, because I asked her out and she went to my boss and said it made her uncomfortable. And I'm like, lame. If that was the case, then back off and show her what she's missing. He goes, but you just told me to reach out. I said, well, you need to listen to your own advice as well. If you already made an attempt to do something like that and she was like, I don't like this. This makes me uncomfortable. Then she needs to come back around from that. But in this situation, it's on the one who hurt the other person here? Who lied to the other person here? Who broke this apart? Will you marry me? You still have a chance if you open up and honestly express yourself so I wouldn't be fucking around if this is what you want. And then <laughs> I said to an, another client today, you know, Spirit says, be who you are. If somebody can't handle the, the way that you are, they aren't right for you. You will never be too good for the wrong person and you'll never be too much for the wrong to the right person. You can't be anything other than who you are. You can't fake who you are. Because if you do, you're going to have, you're fake. There are, look at my hand. Isn't that funny? Look how little my wrist looks. My hand looks huge. Remember? How do you do the, how do you do the rooster? Bunny rabbit? Sniffing around. There's a reason I'm doing this. It means something to somebody. Hand puppets. And puppets. Rabbits are very sensitive. Pay attention to your psychic antenna. What are you picking up? Forget what I just said. What are you picking up? Because this is guidance, yes. But you need to trust what you're getting as well. Sometimes it's a test. Sometimes, like Spirit said to me, forget this person. This is a nightmare. Forget him. Go get a, get, ask for a soulmate. And I said, I've made my choice. I've made my decision. Instead of fighting me on this and blocking me, help me. And it was basically a test to see if I was really committed to what I wanted, what I said I wanted. Was I going to allow myself to be distracted? And you might say, that's not fair. That's tricky. Well, so if I told you to go jump off a cliff, are you going to do it? You have to use your own intuition as well. So... Maybe somebody's been taking too long in the wrong place and spirit saying, it's, it, you're cutting it close. You still have a chance, but, but you're cutting it close because this has already come, come apart, right? And the longer you wait, the colder it gets and somebody may be just over it. So keep your sense of humor about the situation. Don't come in with an attitude. Don't come in being egocentric. Right? Don't be cocky. Don't be bossy. Come in honest and contrite. And if you're the one that did something here, express yourself properly, honestly, openly. Explain whatever it is. Maybe it wasn't even you. Maybe it was something else that happened. But it caused a situation to come apart. Some A situation where this one was really hurt. This could be guy or girl, right? But And it's been on this person's mind. This one was innocent and they were hurt. Do something about this. This could be a third party, right? This You could be listening to this knowing that you did something to these innocent ones that caused them to come apart. And clearly this person loves this person. Maybe you should step in and say, you need to be honest, open. You still have a chance. Don't blow it. See, now, this is interesting that I chose this because... I didn't cheat on anybody. I didn't break anything up. There's nothing that I'm not honest about. I'm over honest. <laughs> so this is clearly about somebody close to me or somebody wants to marry me because I'm not asking anybody to marry me. So if somebody wants to marry me, they're not around. I don't see them. They're not talking to me. So if that's the case, then you better open up and honestly express yourself because I am over it. Now, 
we go on to the third one, which is my second message. And I say this one's chasing this one now because they've at least literally become, there's a song that just came to my head. My shadow's dancing alone without you for the first time. You're not there. You were my shadow. You were always there. But now you're not. You took advantage of that. They were always there. But now your shadow's dancing alone. That's your shadow on the wall. There's nobody there with you. So you better get conditioned, get ready to lay on some grooming, right? And don't be coming in asking for tail. This is mane and tail. This is head, heart. This is everything. Spiritual, sexual, emotional, physical. Whole thing. I know that that was the last message, but, you know, we're... They all kind of go together. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Woo! That one's going in the water. That one, there's a motion there. They're floating. Check it out. And who knows where they'll go. They're floating around in the water. I used to love this. This is my, my bath time. And even with my kids, went on for hours. We'd drain the tub, refill it. I love stuff floating around the water. I'm a mermaid, right? So this little pony, my little pony loves the water. I call Bea my little pony because she's just like a little prancing pony. My little pony loves the water. My little pony loves the water. My little pony loves the water. That's a message too. Are you in love with the water sign? Now it doesn't want to stay. Once it's hit the water, it, that's another message. It doesn't want to stay. Once it gets into the water, it might not become a met. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Oh, two shuffle spirit. For those who chose the mane and tail, something I just noticed about that, I don't know if you guys picked it up. This one's been tested. See it right there? Texturized, but I got tested. So somebody's been tested. Don't test me. They've been through a test. Two shuffles. We just did one. We're doing one more. Correct for neutrality on all levels. I just heard another song. My Castile, what is it? Uh, uh, my my Castile, my golden palace. I I give it all for you. Um, my friends and family don't want. That basically, friends and family don't want us together. But if I knew that you cared, I'd, I'd walk away from it all for you. That's the way it should be. You should be willing to give it up, all of it up. For the one that you love. Okay, two fell. So. <sighs> oh no, three fell. We can't take three. Sorry. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. This is getting a little slippery in here. Slippery when wet, right? Crack for neutrality on all levels. can get it to stay on dry ground now that it really doesn't want to. It's it's going. It's going, right? It's 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 an iffy situation here. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality. It could be gone at any time. Somebody could be really emotional right now, really in their emotional waters, right? Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose the mane and tail, Conditioner, moisturizing, texturizing, straight arrow. Why did I not see that? That's what I like. A straight shooter, straight arrow. That was another message I gave to that client. I said, spirit says, focus, aim, shoot, and then allow spirit to carry it. But this is a straight arrow. It's going directly to where you are shooting. Straight arrow. Nice. Nice. Correct for neutrality on all levels for those who chose the main and tail. Correct for neutrality. Woo! Correct for neutrality on all levels. <laughs> okay. Two came out. Rock bottom and rescue. Both in reverse. So, somebody hit rock bottom. They maybe needed to rescue somebody else. Or spirits coming to the rescue. Because when you're at rock bottom, you got nowhere to go but up. But it's in reverse, right? 
and rescue. Maybe you've got one of those complexes where you've got to be the her the rescuer, right? The heroine or the hero. Oh my God, that, that was the message. You've got a hero complex where you've got to be the one that comes to, some, comes to people's rescue. So maybe that's what took you off somewhere. And somebody hit rock bottom. So let's get my messages and see what it means. Correct for neutrality on all levels, spirit. Correct for neutrality. Can you show me the most appropriate message for the ones watching? Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Friends with possibly more. See, that one's like, it's kind of iffy, right? Friends with possibly more. Correct for neutrality on all levels. It sounds to me like somebody's going to have to do some proving because I someone's lost their trust. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Or maybe the lights have just started, like I said, started to go out. Wow, I like this one. This is cool. I love how independent you are. That is sexy. So, that would be sexy if somebody hit rock bottom, right? They wouldn't want they wouldn't want to think that they had to come to your rescue. They don't have to come to your rescue because you're independent. You do your own freaking thing, right? So, even if we hit rock bottom, I know we'd be okay because I don't need to come to your rescue. Wow, that's sexy. That is sexy. I like that myself. Right? Independence is very sexy. Because then you know that no matter what happens, they can take care of themselves and they can help you. Right? You always, as a team, you're always going to help one another. But not if you're not a team. So right now, Spirit says, are you coming to the rescue of somebody else? Right? Are you trying to rescue? Or are you Are you thinking if I love them, it's going to change them? Spirit says... They've hit rock bottom in reverse. It's pretty bad here. Do you, are you waiting to be rescued? This person's independent, right? Don't, they're not waiting to be rescued. That's the truth. Is, is what you're looking at an illusion or are things the way they're really meant to be, right? Is it what you think you see? Ooh, there you go. That's the real message. Is it what you think you see? So rock bottom, when I think of rock bottom, I think of an alcoholic or a drug addict. They've hit rock bottom. I mean, they couldn't go any lower. They landed on their face. So it doesn't have to be drugs, alcohol. It could be addicted to work so that they avoid all life and living. Self-isolation, right? Self-sabotaging could be doing the same thing again and again and expecting a different result, and we all know that's insanity, right? Maybe you want something, it's just, and you keep going. I, I, I got, when I was 12, I was in Oceanside visiting, I I don't think I was 12, I was probably 10, 11. We were visiting from Canada, and we were staying in these little pink huts along the beach, and the lifeguards drove along the shore, and they said, stay out of the water over by the jetty because there's rare Albanian sea monsters. Okay, now think about that. I was like, okay, idiot. Obviously, there's no rare Albanian sea monsters, so we ignored it, right? What was the truth of the situation? No, there weren't rare Albanian sea monsters. What there was was a riptide. And because they didn't tell the truth, somebody ignored it, and they went straight for it, which is me, and I got caught in a riptide. And it was, I have never been more terrified in my life. I'm a mermaid and I'm a strong swimmer. But I'm telling you, I... Every time I kept getting so tumbled around, I thought I was going to the surface and I kept hitting the sand and I thought I was going to die. And suddenly somebody grabbed me, pulled me out of the water and I was gasping for air. It was the lifeguard. And then he said something was even more terrifying. We weren't going to go back in. We had to go way out because you've got to get up and out of the riptide, go over here before you can come back in. And I was just like, oh my, and I was mortified. I was mad too. I said, you know, why did you say rare Albanian sea monsters? I wouldn't have freaking gone there. Why didn't you just say there was a rip current? Why didn't you just say what was going on? Ten, an ending. Why didn't you tell the truth? Right? Why didn't you tell the truth? And because of that, it, we hit rock bottom. If I had known, maybe we could have done something. Maybe we could have done something in a different way. If I had understood, if I had realized but if, if, if this, in this situation, you may be diving for something again and again and again, and you just keep hitting the bottom, 
right? It's also saying you, you're afraid to get up. This is a mirror. Look, it's a mirror. It's like a funhouse mirror. Which way is up? Which way is up? You're going to keep doing the same thing or are you going to do something different so that, so that the result is different? So spirit says surrender. Don't wait for someone to rescue you, but hand something over to spirit. Don't go running after others that need rescuing because it's not your job to rescue them. I have a client today and spirit said, look, we're moving you away from these people because they're toxic for you. They're narcissistic. They don't want to change. They, they enjoy being a victim. They have every opportunity to take their life and, and start swimming up, right? They could go to counseling. They could do whatever they need to do to start dealing with their issues. But instead of doing that, they choose to project onto you and be angry at you or jealous at you because things are going well for you when, and, oh, it's so easy for them. No, it's not. But, you know, if you apply yourself, you don't need, don't be waiting for somebody to rescue you. Rescue yourself right? There's a lot going on here. Friends with possibly more. I love how independent you are. Stop trying to rescue someone. Stop waiting for someone to come to the rescue. You've hit the rock bottom or they have, and it's not your job to pull them up unless it's you. And then it is your job to pull it up. And don't be in a fantasy land thinking that something is anything different than it is because you may get what you want and be sorry that you got it. So those are your messages, you guys. I'm going to ask for one Romance Angel card for each group. Because I just realized that they're in here. I didn't know they were in here. So you know what you could do? You could ask a question. A yes or no question. It might come up. You could ask a time frame. It might come up. Whatever it is that, you know, maybe you could ask a few different things. If anybody knows, two shuffles. If anybody knows anything about the Romance Angels, you might know what some of the answers might be. Correct for neutrality on all levels. This could tell you, you know, if this person is interested, if this is situation is over, what's going on in this situation, what is the problem, what did they hit rock bottom with, um, what needs rescuing. Um, maybe you could rescue each other, right? Sometimes people are just meant to be. For those who chose the mane and tail did I do the blue cobalt amethyst candle twice? I don't know. For those who chose the mane and tail, we're going in reverse. For those who chose the mane and tail, and you could switch now, right? You could say out of the three now, what do you want to choose now? Mane and tail, um, cold candle that's burning hot, or the Christmas candle. That could be a time frame, right? That's too long for me. So I say this one, I'm changing, mane and tail is what I'm choosing because I'm a horsey girl and I'm all about forward movement. And there's two there, right? I want one like me. I don't want someone I have to rescue and I don't, no one needs to rescue me. I want somebody who thinks that's sexy. So somebody said that to me already. I want that one. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Nothing worse than somebody who is intimidated by an independent person. God, you should be proud of them. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose the mane and tail. Come on, spirit, can you pull one? That one? Okay. <gasps> well, there you go. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Now, it can be a family member, it can be a lover, it can be a friend, but someone is coming back from your... A reconciliation doesn't mean you're staying together. It means you're going to reconcile your differences or they're coming forward to do so. And it looks to me like he... She's dreaming and he's there, but he's real. So wherever he is, he's holding on to her. Her energy, her memory, they are connecting. Wherever he is, that they are connected, even if they're not in their physical presence. She's leaning back to him, towards him. I like that. Look how she's, he's got his leg wrapped around and she's holding on. That's a team. I like that. I like that energy a lot. He doesn't feel uncomfortable reaching out, and she doesn't feel uncomfortable leaning in. And they are connecting on a higher level. I love that. I'm glad I chose that one. 
Cool. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality. For those who chose the Kringle candle. Correct for neutrality. The, what did I say it was? Malachite candle. Correct for neutrality. For those who chose the Malachite candle. Someone's coming back into my life. Wonder if I want them. Looks like I do. <laughs> Looks like I'll fall back on them. They look like they're slim and built nice too with dark hair. I like that. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Could be a past life, right? Or it could be someone that you've known in this life. Correct for neutrality on all levels. That kind of blows it for everybody, doesn't it? But oh well. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Oop, there we go. For those who chose the Christmas candle. It's, oh, this is so perfect, right? That's the one that had the person that was hurt and upset. You're, it's time to release your ex. It is time. Somebody is l either lamenting about the past over and over again. Wah, wah, wah. Crying, crying, crying. Reading this letter over and over and over and over. Let it go. Burn the freaking letter. It's time to release your ex. The time has come to come to clear your energy. It could be that you've got something of theirs that is still holding on to you, pulling at you. Get rid of it. What do you have? Or maybe you need to write a letter to them and burn it, right? Maybe there was never closure in this situation. It's time to put an end and put to closure to the situation yourself. For those who chose the amethyst candle, and I did too. Correct for neutrality on all levels for those who chose the can amethyst. Oops. Two. Aren't you lucky ducks? Oh, I chose it too. Okay. Ooh. Calling in your soulmate and express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Express yourself, remember? Speak your truth. Or forever freaking hold your peace. <laughs> I know. Express yourself. But I'm not good at it. Don't worry about it. Because your prayers and affirmations are calling your soulmate to you. Look at that. She's leaning into him again. I like that. She's calling him in. Not to mention, this could be an angel that's overseeing and helping. Ascended master, family member, helping. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. My hands are prickling. My hands are prickling. My family's helping me. My mother told me she was bringing him to me. She already told me. It looks pretty equal here. Look at that. It looks like if you express yourself, it's not going to go fall on deaf ears, right? They look like they're dancing, which means they're moving in harmony. And look, they're friends too. That yellow represents friendship. It also represents the divine masculine. And look, she's wearing blue, which is truth and honesty. The color of communication. And passion. He's adorned in passion. This is awesome. So if you want your soulmate to come, visualize what you want it to look like. Call. Speak to them. If I'm meant to express my love... I, I, I would like to hear from the love of my life. I dreamed about this last night. And I said, can you, do you want my, what did I say? I asked him something. And the person said, I don't have that. So I don't know if it was like I'm not on Facebook. Um, I think it might have been that, something like that. So they didn't have that, or I don't have LinkedIn, or I don't know, it was something. I don't, it wasn't, it was something they didn't have. And I said, well, you can contact me through my, through my website, Angels Whisper, or contact me on my Angels Whisper page on Facebook. That's what I said. You know how to reach me. I don't know how to reach you. So I would like to hear from you. You can reach me. You know how to reach me. But I don't want you coming through with somebody else. There's me expressing myself. Right? So whatever you guys need to do to express yourself. What else here? Takes two to tango. And they're dancing. It's no fun dancing alone. Right? What's that song? I always think of my twin when I hear that song. I'm only dancing by myself so I don't slam my eye. <laughs> oh, God, that's funny. I'm only, dance so I'm only dancing by myself so I don't slam my eye. So I don't want to make a mistake. I don't want to fuck it up. So that's why I'm dancing by myself. But I really don't want to. Nobody wants to dance alone. It's no fun. But you're not going to fuck it up. You're not going to fuck it up. Right? That's what Spirit says. So let me close the reading. 
I'm going to give my, because you're not seeing my face, I don't know what, you know, you're not going to want to see hands on the um, screen for this reading. So, remember calling in your soulmate, your prayers and visualizations bring you what it is that you wish? So this is a field of dreams. Visualize what it is that you want. Close your eyes and visualize. Ooh, when I rhyme, you know that's highest self. How can I do this without the reflection? I can't. Stinkies. That's better, right? So that can be my cover. Or... The horses might be kind of cool. Yeah, I like that. Because that's friendship and the divine masculine and forward movement. That'll be the cover, okay, you guys? If I can help you with a private reading or anything from my website that can help you, dream analysis. Somebody wrote me today and they're pregnant and they were asking about what, what are good crystals for pregnancy and what are good crystals for the baby and for different signs. And I'm very knowledgeable on I love talking about that kind of stuff. So if there's anything I can help you with, my website is www.theangelswhisper.com. I just got a message today from my um, domain name, and it's they're asking me to, to uh, renew it. So this is perfect timing because I changed my name, remember? The Angels Whisper, Sherry Columbus, The Intuitive Traveler. <laughs> it's time to do it. Um, yeah, if you like the video, please click like. Subscribe, share, press the all button so you get notified of all the videos. And I'm really sorry it took so long to get this video going again. And you'll understand now, right, why I, I chose to do it this way. And you got some pretty awesome messages. I did. Love you guys. Peace.